all right so this means i have to be saying hello to you once again this video is about reincarnation belief of the yorubas is reincarnation even real for those that will say no i'm only going to take a few moments to talk about yoruba incarnation belief thereafter i am going to bring to you real stories of people who had experiences with people who reincarnated Yorubas believe that death is not the end. When people die, they go to their Orino. Orino, shortened to Orino, is used as a translation of heaven in Islam and Christianity. But they do not mean exactly the same thing. The word Orino is formed from two words, Ori and Ron. There are types of Ori. One is the physical head and the second the spiritual head used to mean the soul and spiritual self. When wrong means origin. Putting this together, it means the soul's source. According to Yoruba belief, when someone dies, they join their soul group. It might be below in the ground, in the water, Jupiter, or one of the stars. Only wrong is not a specific place. They believe that when people die, they go back to that particular source they came from. Meanwhile, it's not everyone that died that returned to their source. If their death is untimely, they reincarnate. Reincarnation is believed to be possible in three different forms, which are Ipadawaye. They name such children Babatunde, that is, dad is back, and Iyabo, mom is back, Akudaya, that is, die and reappear. When someone dies, they could reappear in another place, usually distant from where they had lived. They continue to live with the same appearance, age, and could even remarry. The third is Abiku. These are those that keep dying as soon as they are giving birth to. So once upon a time, I posted this story on Facebook, and why people dispute its possibility, some people told us their own real life experience with people who reincarnated. First person, I have an uncle with just two fingers right from birth. He is over 50 years now, and also the only child of his parents. His mother has over six children that died after birth, but three fingers of the last one was cut off. And when his uncle was born, he was with two fingers. He is still alive up to now. To him, there are mysteries far beyond human understanding. Thanks. Another person. One day, a childhood friend from Shagamu named Lebe Onigbin, in case you want to confirm, was asking after all her siblings, and she said, Ruth is dead. She shouted and requested for her contact. She called her, narrating how she saw her sister, Ruth eating corn in Abeokuta in one man's shop where they roast corn. She asked after them and she was the one that even makes her to know where each of them live now. When she told her at first, she never believed and she told her to go to that place again if she will see her sister. And since then, she has never seen her. So such is life. She believed Akudaya exists. This is not what she was told. It is what happened within her family. Akudaya is real. Whoever lived in Ujuelegba, Lagos about two decades ago might know the story of a woman selling food at Ujuelegba on that bridge. When her family came from Bini to find out she is the same and her name was called, she disappeared. Yes, at Ujuelegba on that bridge. Akudaya is real. His mom's both parents died when she was under the age of 10. The late parent was seen by a neighbor who went to the north for business. He saw them having a chain store selling beverages. He greeted them and left until he got to Lagos to find out they are long dead. Even his younger brother, Yusuf, died in 1998 at the age of 10. After his demise, he still came to meet him for several months, sitting beside him. So he stopped coming to him until the day someone find him talking to someone he couldn't see and he told him that it is his brother that he is talking to 
Since that moment, he lost him forever. So it is real. So end of the story. Let us know your own experience with similar stuff and do not forget to like and subscribe.